Okay, this is a follow-on from yesterday's tutorial, which was how to do walk circles, and now you're going to be learning how to do them in Anime Studio. Now, if you remember, the basics were you need a low point, a high point, a low point again, and a high point again. So we're going to go straight in and do the low point, which is the feet spread apart. So it needs to be lower down. And let's spread his feet out a bit. You notice here I'm using uh, points, not bones, but if you want to use bones, you can. Alright, then there's the low point. Alright, now let's make the high point. So he needs to be upwards. This foot that was in front is going to be right down here. And that's just a bit higher. And this leg's going to be overtaking the other one. So we have low and high. Then we need low again. The thing is, we want that to look exactly the same as that, but with just the feet swapped around. So to do that, we're going to use onion skins. So let's go to 30 and put the onion skin at 18. Alright, so we know exactly where to put it. We just need to swap the feet around. do the same with 36, we need to copy 24. Okay, so now there we have a walk. But if we wanted to loop this, it wouldn't really work. So let's try looping it. Let's, oops, let's go cycle back to 18. Now, if we play it, it jumps. We don't want that. But the reason it jumps is quite simple. Here, you have from 18 to 24, which goes like that. Then, you have 24 to 30, which goes like that. Then you have 30 to 36, which goes like that. But you have no 36 back to 18, it just jumps. So, to solve that problem, we just copy this and paste it there. So, although I said you only needed four actions, you see you've got five sets of keyframes here. The thing you need to notice here is actually there's four gaps. One, two, three, four. And that's the important thing. So now we can cycle back to 18. Let's get rid of those. And you can see that he walks properly. Or backwards, if you play it backwards. Okay, so let's concentrate on the next important bit of walks, which is the swinging of the arms. Now, we don't swing our arms at the same rate as we walk, so we don't step, swing, step, swing. We do it, make it look good, you want roughly half. So, halfway through this, we want the arms to be extended. So let's do that. Now 
how so that would work, but if you try and play it, you notice they stay by his side until frame 24. Then move, and then go back by frame 36. And we want them to go from 18 to 30, and 30 to 42, not 24 to 30, and 30 to 36. So, what we can do is select, and then delete these frames here. But now, look at the next problem we've come across. His arms don't move with his body. But this is a really simple problem. All we need to do is just go to the frame in between and move them up. But now we've come across another problem, which is that when you play it, the blue arm only goes backwards and the red arm only goes forwards. Now, to solve this, you're going to have to uh, double the amount of frames. So let's go back. Let's get rid of this from looping. And let's copy these and paste. So let's check that that's still all okay. There you go. And then let's loop back that back to 18. Now, on this second time, we want the arms to move in the opposite direction. So first of all, let's just delete all these frames that tell them to move in the first direction. So now the arms don't move at all. To make sure they move in exactly the same way as the first time, we'll use onion skins. So now, all we need to do is move the arms into position. And correct the problem we had last time. Oh, and let's not forget to extend the timeline. So there we have alternating arms. So that's good.